In this video, we are going to talk about conjunctions in Vedic astrology. Conjunctions are the basis of the yogas in Vedic astrology. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Brahmanic Astrology channel. I am your host Prasad Mahajani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic astrology. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You will be getting Vedic astrological videos just like this one. And if you are interested into the reports or consultation, please check out the link into the description section. Today we are going to talk about conjunctions in Vedic astrology. Conjunction is when two or more planets are close enough by degree. We call it those planets are in conjunct. But what is the significance of the conjunct? What is the significance of the conjunction? <laughs> Not conjunct. What is the significance of the conjunction? Now let's take an example of a conjunction. Suppose we have a conjunction of Mars and Jupiter in the sign of Sagittarius. Let's dive deep into the conjunctions. How do we determine the conjunctions and its effects? Okay, let's get started. There are nine planets. There are 12 Rashis. These nine planets rule each of the Rashi. Wait a minute, but why I'm talking about the Rashis when we're talking about the conjunctions? We will always talk about Rashis and planets when we talk about astrology. <laughs> yes. Okay. So conjunction. When two planets conjunct, we have to understand the core significations of these planets. When there is a conjunction of two or more planets, the two or more types of energy is getting mixed. And what would be the outcome? What would be the result depend upon the so many factors. So let's get started with the conjunctions. Let's discuss these points one by one. What is the first point? The first thing to look for in conjunction is the planets involved in the conjunction. We took an example of Mars and Jupiter conjunction in Sagittarius. Okay. So the core signification for Mars is strength, health, independent nature. The core signification for the Jupiter is that of a teacher, a person who guides, who has the higher belief. Jupiter is higher belief, your wisdom, your luck, your bhagya. Okay. And when your, when your strength and your bhagya conjunct, what would be the result of it? First, we talk about the core signification of the planet. Now, we are moving on to the next step. Next step is the planetary friendship. We discussed about this in this video. Okay, the planetary, uh, planetary friendship video. So, we have to ask ourselves, these are the two planets involved in the conjunction. Whether they are friends with each other, or they're enemy with each other or they are neutral towards each other or one is neutral one is friend or what are their immediate relationship with each other okay let's in our example Mars and Jupiter are friend okay let's move on to the third step what is the third thing to look for in the conjunctions the third thing to, to look for in conjunction is the sign placement of the conjunction. The conjunction Mars and Jupiter is placed in the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, now we are have to add the element of the Sagittarius sign into this um, conjunction. What do I mean by that? Sagittarius is a fire sign. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Sagittarius is the natural, is the ninth house in the natural horoscope. And now we have the Mars and Jupiter in this fiery sign. What do you think they will behave like? 
they will be very comfortable right why they will be comfortable because the ruler of the sagittarius jupiter is um, friendly with mars okay here we complete the step three or four i stop counting let's say next step okay so the next step is to see the house placement of the conjunction the house placement of the conjunction will determine the area of your life where this conjunction will manifest suppose you have this royal and very masculine conjunction in the sign of in the 10th house so you will be very optimistic you will be very outgoing you will be aggressive in your career all these things but guess what what if this conjunction is happening in the fourth house mars will be uncomfortable in the fourth house so this somehow will disturb this conjunction in the fourth house the same conjunction mars and jupiter we are doing it we are going we are just adding on elements and the outcome is getting changed okay it was in 10th house it was wonderful now it's in 4th house or 7th house not as good as it is in the 10th house why because mars is also naturally comfortable in the 10th house in the upper chair house malefic in the upper chair house okay next thing to look for is the degrees of these planets there are tight conjunctions what do i mean by tight conjunctions when the degrees of both the planet is within 5 degrees it is a very tight conjunction it may be good it may be bad it depends upon the factors we just discussed but if it is closed it will definitely show its results okay but if these two planets are in the same sign but are apart from each other uh, in context of degrees jupiter is in first 2 5 degrees of sagittarius and mars is in the last few degrees of sagittarius so this conjunction will not be a tight conjunction conjunction this will be a loose conjunction why because jupiter is in the first degrees of sagittarius mars is in the last uh, degrees of sagittarius so they are not really close enough to be conjunct but still they are in the same sign okay so they won't this conjunction won't be powerful okay so this will be the uh, for these scholars use the analogy of the home consider rashi as a home it's 30 degrees jupiter is in the first two degrees mars is in the last degrees so it's like a person is in the um, entrance jupiter is in the entrance of the sagittarius and mars is in the um, backyard of the sagittarius it's going out of the sagittarius moving on to the capricorn so they don't really in the same house okay so degrees play very important role then the nakshatra nakshatra and the conjunction also has a very significant impact each rashi has two and half nakshatras 12 rashis 27 nakshatras 27 i thought it's 28 it's 27 we'll talk about that other nakshatra but as of now there are 12 rashis and 27 nakshatras so in the same example okay in the same example the jupiter will be in the first 3 degrees of sagittarius will be in a different nakshatra and mars will be in a different nakshatra sometimes what happens is 
planets appear to be in the different sign they are in different sign but at such a close degrees that they are conjunct like like jupiter is in the last degrees of the sagittarius and mars is in the first few degrees of capricorn right so they may be conjunct we have to see the bhava madhya we have to see the we have to determine the bhava okay throughout this video we are discussing about mars and jupiter in sagittarius check your horoscope see what are the planets which are conjunct and apply each and every step to it and you will have an idea about what might be the impact of these conjunctions because we just discussed about mars and jupiter you can have sun and saturn suppose you have sun and saturn um, conjunction you have to do the same thing next thing is the lordship of the houses we have mars and jupiter in sagittarius in the fourth house we have to quickly look for the mars house and the jupiter house jupiter houses are sagittarius and pisces which is what the fourth and the seventh house and the mars is third and um, the eighth house so while judging this conjunction the conjunction of mars and jupiter in the sagittarius in the fourth house it brings the energies of all these houses into the fourth house okay so that is the beauty of it it can be anything and the planets can change you can have sun and saturn uh, conjunction sun will rule leo and saturn will rule two other signs and the energy of these three houses will be in the house where the conjunction is okay so all these point will bring you to some conclusion will bring you to some observations will bring you to some um, understanding about the fruit of the con uh, conjunction for particular horoscope let's summarize how to see the conjunction in vedic astrology the conjunction is between two or more planets first we have to see the nature the natural significations of the planets involved in the conjunction the next thing we look for is the sign in which the conjunction has taken place third thing we look for is the house where the conjunction is happening the fourth or next thing we look for is the lordship of the houses involved in the conjunction okay the planets rule some rashis those rashis are spread over some houses and the when the two planets are conjunct they bring in all the lordships to this house it can be good if you have three planets in the 10th house suppose you have jupiter sun and mars in the 10th house they will be ruling some houses they bring in all the energy to the 10th house and makes the 10th house even more powerful for them okay so yes uh, here is one thing about the sun when a planet is close to sun it gets combust we'll talk about combustion in some other video and there is one more thing called as planetary war we'll talk about combustion and planetary war in some other videos conjunction of any planet with sun has to be carefully examined with context to the degrees of the planet whether the degrees of the planet are before the sun or after the sun and all that stuff okay so yes this was conjunctions in vedic astrology as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing you will be getting vedic astrological videos just like this one hit that like button share with your friends and family keep watching pramanic astrology channel 
subscribe if you aren't already and 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 sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace love and peace conjunct <laughs>